We're gonna throw bombs into the tornado. It's too dangerous. Too many of them. We're gonna need a bigger chopper. Ah! Claudia, move! It's time to leave Kansas, mate. It's a bird, it's a plane. Nope, it is far weirder than that. It is the Sharknado sequel. Word is out this week that a follow-up hit to the viral sci-fi hit Sharknado is filming in New York. Star Ion Ziering is joined by a new list of celebs, but it's not clear yet whether they'll escape the freakish force that is sharks and tornadoes. Joining us for his take on the news and what made the first flick so unexpectedly popular is Ryan Pamplin. He's the co-founder of video ad measurement group Brand Ads. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So the social media response really propelled Sharknado 1. What do you think? Will Sharknado 2 also take the internet by storm? Well, I don't know if the viral gods are going to uh, look as kindly on these guys a second time. But, you know, they did have an incredible organic success. I don't think lightning's going to strike twice. I think they're going to have to do some things to really uh, replicate that success again. It so really it's about measuring what's working figuring out uh, sort of the actionable insights and doubling down on the efforts that are uh, getting them eyeballs. It does look like they're going to be relying on the same kind of low budget special effects this time. What is it about this so bad it's good thing that has people excited for what seems like a pretty awful sequel? Well, it's a movie that's really funny and takes itself really seriously, but it's all just a big joke. Uh, and clearly these guys have figured out the formula for that cheesiness that uh, makes people want to talk about it, make jokes about it, and really that is what's propelling the viral success. And Sci-Fi, of course, is going to be airing this. If you are them, what do you do to take advantage of the buzz? Sure. Well, this time around, they need to do a lot more than last time. Last time they just kind of sat back and were like, whoa, wait, what's happening? Uh, this time around, I think some paid media would do them some good. Uh, I think seeding it with a lot of the influencers. Uh, celebrities just picked up on this thing last time, started tweeting about it, talking about it. You have guys like the director of Gravity, who's saying this is his sort of uh, you know, secret that he loves this thing and he can't wait for the sequel. You need guys like that out there telling their audiences that they want to see it. That's going to make people want to watch it and could potentially make it an even bigger uh, opening than they had before. And this time we have Vivica Fox, we have Mark McGrath and Kelly Osborne. They're all reportedly on board for this sequel. What do you say? Has Sharknado 2 jumped to the shark? You know, I don't think so because I saw some pictures from the set and you see, you know, very, very cheesy props. They look like, you know, they're made by some fifth grader. Uh, and I think the cheesiness will remain. And I think if they remove that, uh, they would really lose their audience because if they take themselves too seriously, uh, it's really going to suck. <laughs> yeah, hard to imagine that happening. Ryan, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.